Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a super fun tutorial for you guys. I was recently browsing through some YouTube videos and ended up for about an hour watching lots of people make various colours of slime and I thought, do you know what, that sounds like a perfect kind of manicure and I know it's fall and everybody's turning into dark colours but for me, I'm holding on to those little bits of bright for that little bit longer. So if you guys want to see how I completed this look, then just keep on watching. So to complete this look, I mixed my own gel polishes and the regular polishes I used for mixing were all part of the Soft Pop collection by Model Zone and I used Cozy Posy, Candy Floss, I also used Sugar Rush and Lemon Popsicle. I also used a silver hollow polish and a silver glitter polish. The hollow polish is Prism Drops by Pipe Dream Polish and the glitter polish is Big Bang Flurry by Starly Polish. For mixing the gels, I used the Mega Mix and I also used their base and top coat as well. For my base colour I used a black gel polish and the one I used was IBD Black Lava. I also used a matte top coat and again the one I'm using is Semi Lac Top Matte. For the design I used the Sugar Effect Gel by Indigo Nails. And for a little bit of added sparkle I used the Bond Pretty Iridescent Chameleon Flakies and also the Iridescent Powder. I'm also going to be using some of these hollow stars from this glitter mix by V's Nail Art. And then for the 3D effect, I'm going to be using this building gel by Artistic Rock Hard. And then you're also going to need a fine detail brush and a dotting tool, which I totally forgot to fill them. And then finally, the last couple of products you're going to need are some lint-free wipes and some nail surface cleanser. So now that we've got the products covered, let's jump right into the tutorial. So as always guys, to begin this look, I have went ahead and buffed the surface of the nail for better adhesion of the gel. I then went ahead and applied one coat of the Mega Mix base coat. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply two coats, allowing each coat to dry in an LED light for 30 seconds between each layer. And I'm going to paint all of the nails in the black gel polish before moving on to the next step. So the next step is to go ahead and apply the matte top coat. And guys, th my nails aren't all crinkled, I promise. I don't know why it looks like that. But now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away the sticky layer to reveal the matte surface. And that is my base complete. So for the slime nails, I went ahead and I used a dot and tool and I applied three dots in a diagonal slant of the Sugar Effect Gel. I'm now taking my small detail brush and I'm filling in where I want the, like, the slime to sort of look like it's dripping if that makes any sense or it's sort of being stretched. So what I like to do is get the circles at the bottom right first and then fill in the negative space and it just makes it a lot easier for me but um, one easier way that you could do this is to go ahead and use vinyls. I probably should have to save myself time but yeah that's just a little trick I have is to make sure you've got the little circles at the bottom perfect and then the rest just sort of falls into place. And the perfect thing about this gel is it only takes 15 seconds in an LED light to dry and I really like it. It's got that just that perfect consistency that makes drawing with gel so much easier and once you add glitter and everything on top it really is a, an awesome awesome product. It's one I would highly recommend. And as I mentioned, once I was happy with the design, I popped that into an LED light for 30 seconds and then went ahead and did the same on the other two fingers. So now we're moving on to mixing our own gel polish colours and as you can see I've added a blob of each colour to my mixing palette and now I'm going to go ahead and take the Mega Mix and apply a blob 
equal parts to each of those colours and then mix them in so it transforms the regular polish into gel. This is an amazing product and again is one I would highly recommend. It really gives me the opportunity to utilise all of the polishes in my collection and I don't have to worry about not having a gel polish in a specific colour. I can now mix my own. It's probably the best mixing product that I've found. So again guys, I really wanted to show you this because I've had a lot of people ask me how I mix my polish. So this is it. So now moving on to getting this slime looking extra unicorn like, we're going to go ahead and take a stippling brush and we're going to stipple in the colour. At first you could see that I'm stippling in just a little bit, I then decided I wanted to add a bit more colour, so I went ahead and picked up a larger bead of the gel polish and made it a little bit thicker. I also allowed each of these layers to dry for 10 seconds in an LED light just to flash cure them so they didn't move while I was working on the rest of the nails. And then the very last step of this part is to go ahead and do a full cure and that way everything's dry. And then I went ahead and did the same with the glitter but this time I added it sparingly onto the nail to make it look like glittering stars. Once I was happy with that again I put it into an LED light to make sure they were secure at the nail. And then I did the same with the flakies and the unicorn powder to give it a little bit of extra dimension. And then the very last step for the base of our galaxy is I took these little hollow stars from the Unicorn Mix by V's Nail Art and I added a few of these onto each nail. I then added a layer of top coat to smooth out that surface. I'm then going to take the Sugar Effect Gel and my fine detail brush and doing some small dots and little crosses I'm going to add a little bit more dimension into that galaxy. And then I popped that into an LED light for 30 seconds to make sure they were dry before I encapsulated the whole of that slime with the Artistic Rock Hard Builder Gel. And once I had finished that, once again I popped that into an LED light for another 30 seconds to make sure everything was dry. Then using a lint free wiping nail surface cleanser, I wiped off the inhibition layer and that is the unicorn slime complete. So for the middle finger I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went for this unicorn image on a hollow base. I started by putting some of the Candy Coat No Wipe Gel Polish onto the black base that we applied before. I then added some of the Indigo Nails Hollow Manix Powder. For the stamping I used this gorgeous unicorn plate by Born Pretty Store. I will leave the exact name of it linked in the description box below. I filled it in with the same polishes as we used previously and added a white polish that I coloured in the unicorn. So once that design is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and firmly press my stamper onto the nail to adhere the image to the hollow nail. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim off any excess and apply a little bit of white polish to the tip of the nail where the image didn't actually meet the end of the nail. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply a layer of gel top coat and pop that into an LED light for another 30 seconds. 
And the very last step was to go ahead and remove that sticky layer with my nail surface cleanser and that is this design complete. So guys, this is what the design looked like once it was finished and on my nails. As you could see, it's super cute, really bright for this time of year, but I absolutely loved how it turned out. I definitely should go ahead and watch more slime videos more often because it gave me awesome ideas for colours and things like that. As always guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would totally appreciate it and if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And once again, if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie, I am a complete nail polish addict and on my channel you will find everything from nail art, swatches, reviews and the odd haul. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye!